Hello everybody and welcome back to From the Desk of Studio Ultra. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego set SpongeBob SquarePants Good Neighbors at Bikini Bottom. So let's do this. So here I have the instructions booklet right here. I got this used because this thing is very expensive new. Uh, but it's a really, really good set. I believe it's 2009. But it has SpongeBob, Squidward, and Patrick. It has the house. It has all those little neat uh, details and features that I thought was absolutely awesome and I might as well get it. So let's go ahead and build this. All right, so here is the set completely built, and I must say this was a fun build. It's also a very long build, so if you want to listen to some music or doing it, whatever, while doing this, uh, that'll be great. It was it helped me to build this, and it was pretty fun. It was quite interesting to see how everything worked out. I am a little discouraged by the fact that Squidward is missing his magazine accessory, but that's just fine with me. Um, it, it's just a small detail. The set was used, and it's understandable, and it was. Not Nothing crucial to the main builds of the whole thing. Uh, but anyway, let's go over minifigures first. So we have the main man himself, SpongeBob SquarePants, right here with his little smile and his reef blower, which I thought was pretty cool. And yes, this has all the original stickers. However, this is torn because that sticker was put on the top piece. So, yeah, you know. <laughs> but uh, anyway. As you can see, the way the reef blower is attached oops, is uh, clipped on to his head, which is kind of cool. It's interesting how they uh, did that. They didn't just, I don't know, it, it's a very different way of doing it. Uh, because as you can see, the torso is, well, just completely covered by his head as kind of like an overpiece of the whole thing. But yes, it's a great way to translate SpongeBob onto Lego. Of course, this was like no dual molded pieces, no... Uh, extra paint for the arms for the sleeves for the arms but uh, that is just fine with me it looks pretty good it all flows just nicely and he looks very very nice here we have gary <laughs> which is very irregular i think what lego would have done nowadays is just made a whole single mold for gary like they do for the cats or whatever uh so yeah this is gary he's kind of a conglomeration of different pieces but with these nicely printed uh shell halves on both sides of him and these kind of like cherry little berry piece eyes <laughs> it's quite interesting i don't know why they chose gray as that for there and then they have this well instead of pink they have this tan colored thing i i think that's kind of weird how they decided to do it with gary but i think it's kind of creative and a little fun and i think it's kind of cool to see how lego did that uh, as, they, as you can see some of the stickers are peeling off but this is the uh food bowl for Gary. Gary right there. I might have to just apply the sticker permanently. Who knows? Next we have Squidward. Absolutely amazing. He looks great. Uh, his face is just the perfect Squidward face. Lego did an excellent job on his head sculpt because the original Squidward did not have a separate head sculpt. Instead he just had a regular Lego head. This is a major improvement and it looks really really good. No sleeves, no uh dual molds and uh yeah so there he is that's his big nose right there and that's that's the feature you need to express when you're having a squidward figure now i can see there we go his pants on but yeah no no sleeves and a very uh desert tan colored shirt oh yeah that's really cool all right the next one we have is patrick as you can see he's more of a flesh tone than he is a pink he looks a bit more pink off camera but uh beside that he is a very very cool uh, resemblance to Patrick because of his head right there. He's got all his little freckles. He's got his uh, smile. 
and uh, also he's got these uh, swimming trunks, I guess is what they are. Uh, this one's quite interesting because as you can see, the printed uh, pieces on the legs are not the same as uh, what he's got up here from this point. And also it's even more awkward when you turn it around because he's just, he has no print on the back. So, <laughs> but whatever. I think he's really cool. He's got a belly button. Uh, he's got all the essential details that Patrick needs to be Patrick and he is rocking all of it. He's really, really cool, and I really like him. All right, so on to the set itself. Let's start with the mini builds. Now, this first mini build I'm gonna go over is this grill right here. Now, um, this grill also doubles up as a launcher, and my goodness, this whole set is just chock full of launchers. I have no idea why. There are so many launchers in this set. They're like, Hmm, we need a gimmick. We need a gimmick. What are we gonna do? Launchers. Yes, okay, what else? Launchers. Okay, yes, what else? Launchers. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna do launchers. Boom, it launches the Krabby Patty. So yeah, this essentially just kind of... You just... Yeah, you do that, and <laughs> it launches the Krabby Patty. This is very interestingly built. It looks pretty good. It's also built upside down, which I thought was interesting. Anyway, about all the stuff that's interesting, 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 we got some more interesting things, like another mini build, which is Patrick's Boatmobile. Well, the reason why I say it's Patrick's in particular is because A, Patrick, pretty much out of SpongeBob and Squidward, uh, is the one who we've seen officially get his own boat. Patrick is also advertised on the box that he is driving his Boatmobile, so that's why that's why he just has it. <laughs> Apparently, Patrick gets his license before SpongeBob. That's, that is actually in the show. So anyway, we have Patrick in his boatmobile, and he has all these really cool features. The wheels spin. Everything about it is pretty good, pretty accurate. I love the colors. They actually match with the colors of the show. Steering wheel turns. And we got another launcher. What's the launcher this time, you may ask? Well, <laughs> this time it's a marshmallow launcher. That was never in the show. I don't think it was. Uh, if it was any of the seasons past, uh, let's just say season four, then I probably don't know because I don't really care too much. Uh, season five and six were okay, but everything afterwards... Ugh. Anyway, uh, but yes, this is a marshmallow launcher. It can launch marshmallows, case in point. And so what you do is you just press this and boom, good luck finding that ever again. Uh, <laughs> but yes, marshmallows, what a weird choice. All right, so as for Squidward's mini build, he has this nice kind of reclining lawn chair slash kind of beach chair right here, which looks very nice. It's very simple and basic. This moves around. And also this umbrella with this mug. There you go, mug with umbrella. Pretty basic, pretty simple, but effective for relaxation well maybe not relaxation if your neighbors are losing their minds right next to you and you're just trying to get some rest look at him you you can tell that he's meant to just stare at patrick with just judgment like or just you know detest you know he detests him he's like why are you ruining my nap uh anyway so on to the big build of it all let me just move these out of the way uh, we have the pineapple house. This is the pineapple under the sea. Uh, this one implements very nice orange colors. Uh, I guess to compensate for the uh, little pineapple grid. I guess that, that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, <laughs> also, I put the jellyfish, this little accessory that comes with it. But yeah, uh, to compensate for the grid patterns on a pineapple, I'm sure there's a term for it. Uh, they, I guess they added these like little red pieces all around the place and it's okay. It works uh, in breaking up the color scheme, but that's pretty much it. Also, they replaced the silver colors with the more blue and I guess they're kind of a bluish silver in the show, but um, a lot more of a bluish gray that is. And they've replaced it with blue, so that I guess that makes it pop a bit more. Uh, also, he has these kind of like flowers here. They have a nice texture. I really like the way these things jut out. Like they give it depth and they give it a bit more of a more dimension to it. it makes it more pineapple-y, I guess. Is that that's what you would say? Uh, this is the chimney as well. This is a nice chimney. They got that detail in, and they got these uh, this little thing. That's the, the pineapple. The, the pineapple, yes. Uh, anyway, so 
This turns, it opens, very nice. But also, when I turn this around, you can see all the stuff that's supposed to go inside. You can see that there is an interior as well. Uh, let me just bring this close to you guys, just so you can see everything. So you can see like a picture of Patrick, that little fish that hangs on the wall. It's like basically hooks. These plants keep falling off. Um, also this kind of, I guess it's a mirror right here and there's Gary. And also you can see the windows, which I believe are printed. I don't think they're sticker pieces, which are really awesome. I do like these windows a lot. You can see outside the window right there. Not very well, but you can still see outside. Uh, but anyway, uh, I have no idea why this mug thing is up here. No clue. It's just there. Now, what you can do with this, aside from open the door and peek through, uh, is what you can do with this is this right here. It unfolds, which I think is really, really cool. So that way you can kind of have a more playset deal where it's SpongeBob's house on the inside. And of course, uh, SpongeBob has a technology of Time Lords. His house is larger on the inside, at least uh, what we see proportionally and dimensionally. So we also have this other small build right here. It's his chair, which looks great, which you can obviously... That chair is there for one reason, and it's to create the, um, of course, I, I'm a head out meme. So, yeah, you can do that. You can put pun sponge, sponge, SpongeBob. You can put SpongeBob in his chair like this. He's not going to be sitting because his legs obviously aren't articulated. Uh, but he could still look like he's sitting uh, watching the TV, and this is the TV right here. It doesn't look too much like the diver helmet, but hey, they tried the best with the little things on the side, the uh, side windows, and the, and the nice antenna on the top, and it's all the, put on with a little sticker right here. Uh, as you can see, this is SpongeBob's bed, and uh, you wonder why this big gaping hole is uh, over here. It's because it's another launcher! Uh, it's either for this jellyfish right here, launcher, or uh, SpongeBob right here, which it's more likely for SpongeBob in a sense where it's like, you know, the whole Colin Furs alarm. There you go. Anyway, so you can tell that Scotty is like these, I guess they were bamboo shoots uh, that were holding up the candles on top, which I think were really cool. I like how they put these specific pieces on here because when they look, they look like bamboo when they're stacked. And I think that looks really, really cool. They also have that life preserver uh, right up there, lifesaver, whatever. So guys, that just about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope this was helpful in any way whether or not you wanted to get this set. My overall opinion of this set, I think it's really, really good. It's a nice re, kind of re-release. It doesn't have the other two houses, which is kind of a bummer, but it brings something new to the table, especially with all these accessories and all this other stuff, including all the launchers. That might be my one nitpick about this whole thing is that the launchers, it's a little over the top. Maybe Lego, maybe you could spice it up a bit. Maybe you could, uh, I don't know, do some different gimmicks, different kinds of shooters or launchers or whatever you guys do, just to add a little bit more flavor to the gimmick side of things. But other than that, this set comes with plenty and plenty of different features, and I think it's absolutely fun. It's a great set, and I totally recommend it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, you will see me in the next video, and I hope you have a blessed day. Goodbye.